Now, we know Andy is as comfortable behind a rifle as he is behind a shotgun. Be it a munching rabbit, a fox pausing in a gateway, or a deer raiding his crops, he's what you might call efficient. But what about driven game? He has been invited on a traditional driven hunt in Germany, so it's off to the cinema. Not to throw popcorn at the screen, but Hornady bullets in 308. Look in his eye and then move from there. We're at the Holland and Holland shooting ground in West London. Underground is the shooting cinema, the only one in the UK, and it's a blast. Take your shot. Well done, what a shot. Fantastic shot. <laughs> you keep that. <laughs> we have instructors, rifles, scopes, ammo, obliging pigs of all shapes, sizes and speeds, and a German wild boar fanatic. Blazer's yeah, you know, man in the UK, line, Frederick Hanna. Back home, a lot of the shooting cinemas have holes everywhere and so on, because and some of them are 20 years old by now, but obviously we have really nice ones as well. But on an international standard, this is as good as it gets. And I, I love coming here and I love to get my training in when, when I'm over in the UK here as my, myself. Technique-wise, obviously you're, you're, you do a lot of shotgun shooting. Yeah. If you like, in a way, it's a cross between the shotgun as we know it and rifle as we know it. Right. Um, uh, so let's just have a few shots, see how you get on, see what's happening. So you're thinking much more right hand than left. Yeah. The most important thing for you there is yeah. don't lean in like you're shooting right. rabbits yeah. with your shotgun. Yeah. yeah, it's more upright. What sort of rounds does it take for someone to get their, their iron, would you say? Well, in this case, not many at all, as you've <laughs> seen. I mean, what's that? Six, of which the last three were, were pretty pretty much perfect. Um, some people take a little bit longer. It depends on their shooting experience and um, you know, what they've done shotgun-wise and rifle-wise. Uh, so it does vary mm. hugely, actually. Um, well worth having a few sessions, certainly, before you go. I'd agree with that, 100%. Yeah, definitely. What becomes very clear very quickly is that this session is more than just shooting practice. Fieldcraft is another key part of the learning. This fox is a prime example. The importance of understanding the terrain that you're shooting on is crucial because as yeah. you saw there, that yeah. would have been the most perfect shot had the fox not dipped down into, that, right, into yeah. that furrow. And if you go boar hunting in, uh, on the continent, if you're standing in a ride in a wood, you've got to be very, very observant and notice if there are, for example, uh, wheel ruts in the, in, in yeah, the track, yeah, yeah. because the wild boar will always jump over the wheel rut. It will never run down into it. Nah. So it's very easy to miss it underneath as it leaps over the, over the, the wheel rut. It's, it's the sort of thing you can come and learn in this environment, yeah, that's right. rather than going to Europe and wondering why you missed one. Yeah. So uh, it's very, very useful. Anything from here to here is going to kill the boar if you're here in the, in the, in, in the line. What if, about if you're down here? Well, down that's perfect. I mean, yeah. that, that will kill it. But yeah. if, if you're here in the back, yeah. kind of, and, and you shoot it, you, you still have the last bit of the lung, you're still going to have the main artery in the spine. Yeah. If you're down here, you're going to have a gut shot and it's going to run. That's right. The cooperation we have with Holland Holland is they are one of our kind of London-based retailers, so everybody in London who looks for a prime place to train and try out our rifles at the same time and actually also buy them, shotguns as well, can, can do so here. And I always say, try to make shooting bore as easy as you can by optimizing your equipment. So anything that makes it easier for yourself, in my opinion, is worth the money. You go out there, you might only get one shot. If you miss that one shot, what a memory to bring back, you've missed. And coming here to the cinema, it wasn't long, what, three shots, and I was, I was on the nail all the time. And it's just got rid of those three misses down there, or three wounded bore down there, and then I go to Germany, hope they're, they're beyond the money. That's the plan. Holland and Holland offers something unique, and for a few hundred pounds, it can make the difference between a boar and a duck. Sleepless night last night, worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get up this morning? Uh, would there be any food left for me at breakfast? All those sort of things, that's all going through in my head, but no, really looking forward to it today. Yeah. Really looking forward to it. Just hope I'll get something hanging up there by the end of the day. It's all down to me now. Back to Germany, and Andy is making international friends. Annetta Dahl is a teacher, but she doesn't teach maths, she teaches hunting. Yep, 16 to 20 year olds across 20 schools in Norway have hunting on the syllabus. So she's here for teacher training. What would you normally hunt back home? Uh, mostly I would hunt for red deer and moose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by dog or yeah. calling. We heard so. all about your calling last yeah. night. 
If you cut a bit of hoover pipe, the news is that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I normally call for small animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I try to call the big ones, but they, uh, I think I'm too high-pitched or something because I always get the small ones. <laughs> but yeah, well, you had a good suggestion that I should smoke. Yeah, to get my... You smoke, know, like, smoke 50 a day? Yeah, and drink some whiskey. And, and two bottles of whiskey, I yeah. reckon. And then maybe I will get the big ones. <laughs> So how many hands have you got today? Um, so it'll be about 55 shooters today, yeah, yeah. and then there's a team of about 30 drivers, beaters and, and yeah, dog yeah, handlers. Yeah. Yeah. So quite a big thing. And um, we've got 300 hectares of forestry that we're driving, so that's what, 660 acres probably, yeah, yeah, speaking yeah. in English terms. Yeah, yeah. And um, we've done the fields yesterday, as, yeah, as you right. were there, that's another yeah. about 200 hectares. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> amazing weather. The is it ideal, thing, is, it? Uh, is this I'm, ideal? It's, I, I prefer a bit of rain actually because the boar stay in the thickets longer so with ah, all these right. people getting them in the forest we always yeah. say they lie very light and they might all bugger off when, when they hear us so <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. gonna be super super um, important that we're all really quiet, quiet when yeah, we go in okay. so um, that'll be it but you're really in the center of it you have thickets on either side of you yeah, yeah. so I expect the boar to travel in between and the road here as well but I really hope for the for the best, and yeah. uh, they've been feeding. We've seen one massive big old uh, tusker on the yeah. <laughs> on the camera, so I really hope that one gets shot today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if one of us don't shoot it, you'll be out after. <laughs> Andy is the first to be dropped off. Yeah. There's a fresh wallow, which induces a fresh flow of adrenaline. Bjorn delivers the instructions, and Andy absorbs. The beaters come from this direction. Yep. And you see it, you have a very nice area over here where you can securely shoot. Yep. The same on the top here. Yep. So there is a big track about 50 meters below you, another yep. smaller one 20 meters below you, yep. and 120 meters in front of you. Right, okay. And uh, yeah, as I said, the beaters will come from this direction. Yes. So make sure, make sure you always got dirt exactly behind that it. you yeah, only yeah, shoot yeah. in very short distances. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no direct neighbor that you can endanger. So, whenever right, okay. you have bad fire. What about behind? Shoot. Anyone behind? No, there's no one behind. So there's no one all the way around. Exactly. Us. You see, it's it's yeah. going up the hill again. Yeah. So this is also a secure yeah. area, as long as you have um, dirt grown soil over there. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then good luck. Thank you. Now let's collect more data. I hope so. Yeah. Go, Thank go. you. It is safe to shoot in all directions, and we are live on stand, even though the drive doesn't start for an hour. It does feel good here. It feels good. It's a good area to shoot. Good thing is. It banks and that's a good, good backstop all the way around, so it's quite good. It's a new scope, especially for the design for this job. If they were coming close, I'd wind it, wind it back into one, so I've got it on three. It goes right down to seven. It's got an illuminated bloody kill. As soon as that's turned on, take the safety catch off, the illuminated reticle goes off. Safety catch off, illuminated reticle comes back on again, it's all automatic. So you don't want to worry about turning it on and off. No sooner have we loaded the R8 and there's the sound of trotters on leaf litter. It's down. One's down. Job to load it with. Andy picks the second pig as it leaves cover. Surely it's a dead boar. It runs, however, his second shot drops a young male a few yards behind us. The, the chap who puts on the spot, he said they're either going to come down through there or along the top there. Straight away, come straight along the top. Killed one, um, hit one shoulder, that went, went along and dropped just beside us and everyone went on, so I don't think that would have gone far, it was hit hard, so. Soon shots start ringing around the forest. This time there's a ball below us. It's 
easily 80 to 90 yards. Andy picks his spot as it crosses in front of a tree. Then a group of boar appear over the rise. Andy takes one. And takes a youngster as it stands. He is definitely in the shooting. You've cost me a lot of pigeons in my time, but you've helped me out with these old pigs. And there was a pack come up behind us. Now the first one, lovely. Second one, as I was crossing through the trees, it was a bit thick there, picked a gap, rolled another one over. So that was a nice pair. Using one lady today, green bullets, as in there's no lead in them, lead free. She was using yesterday. I shot a fox and absolutely turned it inside out. And, uh, the Hornady 308 125 grain ETX Extreme Terminal Expansion Custom International Round is specifically designed for the European market, and that means boar and deer. With many hunting areas now lead-free, this copper alloy bullet is building a strong reputation for minimal meat damage and high weight retention. After all that action, the forest settles for 40 minutes. There are roe gently slipping in and out of cover, but crow is here for boar. Old girl's just come up there. She's got about six, six, eight little ones. No, nice to see that. Right. Tiny little things, not worth shooting, so... Ain't no eating on them, so just we'll leave them. With a moment's peace and quiet, we tempt fate again, and Andy talks us through a new set of carbon fibre shooting sticks that Blaza is bringing to market. At the front, where you hold your hand, twist it, so if you're following something up through the wood, as it's moving, you can follow it. This comes out, pulls out, and the nodule which is on, already put on your rifle, uh, for people that have uh, got a Spartan, it just goes straight in there. I just plug straight in there. Right side. The forest seems to wake up again and a road deer appears just a few yards away. There's so much barking and baying behind us and he leaves it. Whether by luck or good judgment, seconds later a sounder of boar appear. They come and they were stood just there and I knew you was there, sir. And they were coming straight on you. They come up yeah. here, I shot one there, the dog's on it. Yeah. They come right up oh, there, yeah. I shot one there, and yeah. they were stood just there, and I knew you were coming, so I thought, nah, leave it. They just stood there. Yeah, they, I thought, they, nah. The whole, the whole group stood over there. And yeah, they, they were stood there, but I knew you were there. And, and they were just planning their yeah. escape, so. It sounds like they got hold of it. Yeah, I think they got one. I think. Yeah. Ah, and there they are. There, there it is. Yeah, Crow hits one hard, which peels off, and another falls just before a tree. The group stops, probably as they sense the beaters coming through. It is essential that Andy can tell the beaters what's fallen and where. That's one. Up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Straight. 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 <laughs> So that's the third one dead there. Where's the other two? Did you pick one up there? There's one dead there. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh. How's the day gone then, Frederick? Um, to be fair, amazing. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Uh, right from the beginning, there was shooting everywhere. Um, all the people that, are, that I'm kind of in contact with via WhatsApp uh, have shot something. There's a couple of fours I know of. There's another three I know of. That's another four from Andy. So I think we're, we're well over 20 boar already. 
I know Annette Dahl, for example, she shot uh, two or three row deer. She, she had two right in the beginning, so I'm, she, she had bound to shot more by now. Uh, and then the Scottish guys shot a, shot a boar each, so it's going really well. <laughs> so, uh, awesome day. No, I'm mega happy. Because you, you work so much before the day happens and everything, and you try to make it happen, and there's so much stuff you can't really organize, the weather, the wind, and so on. It's just such a relief when everything goes well. And then Andy seems to be on form, having four ball down and, and another one to look for. So, uh, amazing. Couldn't be better. No, I'm really pleased. I had a blinded weekend. It's not finished yet. Got today to finish. Uh, and then tomorrow. Uh, today I want to watch you drag these up the top of the hill, David. <laughs> yeah. He did say that when he left, didn't he? He wants them at the lane. Yeah, he said, David, can you drag them up? <laughs> he did say, David. Well, I won't be slinging them on my back, I'll tell you. <laughs> Christ almighty. And that is a small one. I don't know how you're going to carry him up that hill, David. <laughs> I'll take them too. <laughs> Man alive. This is a small one. Dave. <laughs> oh, it's almighty. Where were we? Oh, the rest of the drive is quiet, and Andy is desperate to see if we can find the two balls that disappeared out of view. One of the difficulties with driven hunting is that, for obvious safety reasons, you are not allowed to leave your stand until the end of the drive. Pull it. That's where we come down through here. <laughs> Davy! No Oh my god! I knew it was good! <laughs> amazing! Absolutely amazing! Oh, I can't believe that! <laughs> I knew it was good! I knew that first one was good! Oh man, I'm, oh, I'm made up now! I really am! <laughs> so look at it! Amazing! <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Woo! Man alive! Oh, I don't believe it! I really, really do not believe that. How can that? Perfect shot. Bro. Look at that. Perfect shot. Ah! Oh. Go on then, pull it out. I want to see a bit more of it. You ain't going to... Oh, man alive! Unbelievable. Look at all the blood all down here. Oh man, he must have rolled from up there, David. How far down is it? 20 yards? Look at where he's crashed down through here, look. He's crashed all the way down through. Man alive, I am so happy. When you have a shot, you, I knew it was. It felt good. And I just... And that was a long shot, that was. That was a really good shot, perfectly. Oh, I am over in a moon with that. You don't laugh, though, because you've got to carry that back up the top, mate. Man alive! Oh, David, I cannot believe that. With that brilliant result, Bjorn arrives to take us back awesome. to the vehicle. Super! Congratulations! Oh, Fantastic! Man. We have one. It ran across there. Yeah. And see that oak tree? I shot it as it got to oak tree. Yeah. Um, and I, it felt so good. I said, David, I said, I've got to go and look for that. I said, it felt so good. We've gone down, it's right down the bottom of the bank. It's only a little one, you'll be all right. You can go and get it. It's <sighs> board number five. Yeah. Yeah, we've got another one to look for, yeah. I... You're the king of the day, yeah? Well, there's another the one. Yachtenic. They caught one up there as well, so that's five, that's six. <sighs> okay, then um, you shot at six boards, right? Yeah, we've got another one to look for. Seven. Seven. To look we, up there. Oh, exactly. Fantastic. Then um, please let's continue over there. We mark all the shots that you made and you show me the direction the board took. Come through here. Okay. Just come First, through. There's, there's work to be done. Yep. All boards need here. to be accounted for. And to me it looked like just in here. Through here it come. Okay. And it went straight straight on down that line. We couldn't find, we haven't looked at it for any blood. So this but was the place you shot just at. here. This way it come. It come through here. Okay. And it was following that line straight along. 
Is it? Yeah, because it's tougher, you know. Bjorn oh, helps skin, Andy yeah. extract yeah. the boar. Sometimes but Germans are short. <laughs> Up on the track, so the dog handler is already uh, like suiting it. up. What's the dog's name? Hannes. Hannes? Yeah. And what breed is Hannes? Tiroler Bracke. This is when you go through the... Uh, the trees? Smoking. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're wounded in the ice. Okay. Yeah. Because I cannot uh, save me with my hands. Okay. Um, dog. Yeah, because I have to handle the dog, yeah? Yeah. Andy's shooting success means plenty of signs. As we lose the light, we make the decision to come back in the morning. We can report now that the dog handler recovered nothing. And on closer inspection, it looks like Andy did miss his first and probably easiest ball. Six confirmed ball for seven shots ain't bad, and establish his crow as king of the hunt. Back at the meeting point, the picker-uppers clean the game, display it, and later diners in local restaurants will enjoy it over the festive period. Finally, King Crow is crowned. Now that has a ring to it. If you want to reign supreme, you'll need to sharpen up your shooting skills by heading to hollandandholland.com. And for the right kit for the job, look up Hornady ETX Custom International Cartridges on hornady.com. For Blaser scopes, sticks and rifles, go to blaser.de.